really get started, well, it would have been when we were rehearsing for the subtitles EP, so it was a while ago. Carlos came into the rehearsal studio and we are jamming this sort of shuffle feel. I've got it here actually. 22nd of March 2017. So you can hear that that sort of line is what and the chord progressions that we sort of built underneath that is what started it. I was actually quite excited to work on a different track like this because mainly most of our tracks that we've written is a lot more straight and a lot more just, they're always big and they're very, a lot of strong layers and a lot of strong drum beats and stuff but this one was a little bit different because of the whole pulse of the track, um, the changing of our beats and BPMs. I think when George showed us the melody and what he was thinking for this track, we were actually all pretty excited. So usually when, we, when, I'm, when I'm writing a song, uh, it'll be chords and melody first, but in this instance, the, the, the track sort of came together from that guitar line that, that's mimicked in that second half of the chorus. I, I sort of used the chords that were under that, that riff to, to build a, a vocal melody over and, and yeah, find out what, what what sort of works and how we can move into that section because that was initially the catchiest and the hookiest part of the song that I wanted to sort of get to, so. We seem to sit down with our producer, Nathan, and try and find the more clear parts of what we need first. We try and build more of a skeleton and more of a structure of the track. And we try a couple of different amps, diff tons of different guitar pedals until we actually get the right sound that we want. Uh, normally I'll get a demo of the track, like a rough drum guide from George and Nathan, our producer. And uh, they'll sort of give me the beats and that and then just say mess around, add your own flair to it. Uh, so I'll get that, I'll run over it a few times, send them some options. And then we sort of go back and forth until we're all sort of happy with the main grooves and everything. And then once we're in the studio we sort of mess around with uh, fills and uh, extra little things like that. So. Just essentially, the, the Sydney sort of losing a bit of its its zest, like it's a bit of its life, with the um, the lockout laws and just the city's sort of become a ghost town. So all of these places and and landmarks of the city that I grew up absolutely love loving to go to um, have become really dead in the last five or so years, and that's what it's all about. It's just all about being stuck in this sort of dead city that's lost its life and the only the only life it has is the people who are fighting to, to bring it back. Yeah.